Okay, so it's been eating me all day, and I guess um, since stupidity runs rampant, I'm going to drive and videotape this at the same time. And uh, hopefully I don't get pulled over by a cop for doing it. But, uh, yes, I guess I will have to apologize to LaCary. Sorry about screwing up your name. Really am. And Julie Steele about this whole misunderstanding that could have been resolved in the very beginning. I get angry sometimes and I do some stupid things. We all do, okay? And here's the point that I'm trying to make, okay? You are a legitimate business. You have proven that in your 13 part video okay nobody can find it on the internet no matter how much you google a amusement performers a amusement entertainment yes we get your websites and yes we heard that your computer broke down and that's why you weren't able to get it up well you know unless your computer's a server it doesn't matter the internet will still be there so there's no reason to have broken links unless you really don't care that aside, I am going to apologize for being frauds, okay? You are not frauds. You do have a legitimate business. You do have testimonials from people. I applaud you for being in business for such a long time. I applaud you for going on TV, okay? I applaud a lot of things you do because you make a lot of kids happy. And that is what we all try to do, okay? As far as thieving goes, I'm going to apologize for that even though I probably shouldn't. Simple fact is, everybody knows. On Facebook and YouTube, you can set your privacy settings to where nobody can see them. So if you were going to upload photos and videos to the Facebook and the YouTube account, you should have made them completely private to where nobody could see them. This all started because you started posting photos and videos of other people's work on your sites. Now, they asked you to remove certain things. From what I saw, and I know this is sticking my nose in your business, you got angry at them. You told them what is it Julie said? Something about if anybody can do it, then it's not stealing? Well, if you can do it, do it and take a picture of your own work and not somebody else's. If you are claiming work as your own and you are using somebody else's photo and claiming it as your own, that is stealing. I have never stolen anything, okay? If I have used another person's photo for anything that I do, I have always listed that person and given a link to their site where it can be found. All right. Now, I am not going to apologize for the racist remark. For the simple fact is, once you make a mistake, you have to live with it. You made the mistake of calling a person that you thought was from Singapore because it was listed as their place, their location on YouTube. A damn chink. That is racist. That is uncalled for. That is where I draw the line in our community. Okay? I am not an event planner. I am a face painter. I am a henna artist. I am an amateur balloon twister. I am a feather extension applier, if you want to call it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay? I do a lot of different things. I choose not to do lighting DJing, clowning, stilt walking, all this and that. I don't care about owning a train. I contact people that have this, who I am friends with, and they help me out at different festivals and events like the one I am putting on right now. Okay? This is very ridiculous. Half of what Julie said in her videos I can guarantee were not completely the truth. They are not correct and they were unprofessional. 
my mockery of it was before I saw the rest of the videos. Now, thank you, LaCarrie. Thank you for all your kind words. Thank you for saving face. Because if you would have done this in the beginning, this all would have been over now. Now, here's the thing. You told me that the only way you're going to remove those videos is if I remove mine. Well, if you listen to past videos like you say you do, because you have quoted me on different things and made fun of entertainment, which my YouTube videos are pretty much, they're for entertainment value. And if you watch them, you would have noticed that I have said I never remove any video. I live with my mistakes. I live with the past. You cannot run from it. It's always going to be there and it's always going to sneak up to bite you in the butt. Guess what it's doing to you right now? It's biting you in the butt, isn't it? So you have a choice because I leave my videos up. You can leave yours up. I don't mind. You have it tagged with my username. Thank you, because that's going to help me out. No matter how much bad publicity is out there, I'm still going to get people looking me up and finding out the truth. I am not a butthead. I am not an asshole. Okay? I have people compliment me all the time for what I do, and my stuff is face painting. And I do it to the best of my ability. I help people out. And those that think I'm a butthead on videos that meet me in person, figure out otherwise. And there are plenty of people that will tell you that I am one of the nicest people in the world to meet. I am very helpful. I go out of my way for people. So go ahead. Make fun of me. Make fun of what I do. I may not have a lot of views, but I have a heck of a lot more than you do. Okay? So that means that my fan base is really looking at this. And they're wondering, what am I going to say next? What am I going to do next? How is he going to react? Is he going to be somebody that we want to hire? I don't know. But I can tell you this. I do not put up with what you did in the very beginning that caused all this. No. What started all this was not my racist fraud and thieves blog entry. What started this was a comment you made to another person who is actually an American who lives in Singapore and is not a chink at all. So if you're going to go and talk about me and try to figure out what other people think about this person who is slandering or defamation of character or whatever I am doing to you, Give them all the information because what I did was I gave all the information to everybody and let them make their own decision about you. So you have the choice. You can take down your videos or not. You can leave this alone or not. Obviously you can't sue me because I have nothing. Your lawyer already told you that. My credit's so bad, it puts you in debt. So go ahead. Do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave you guys alone from now on. I'm going to go my separate way because I have other things that I need to do and are more important than worrying about all this anymore. This is my final video on this. You can post whatever you want, which I guess you're going to do anyways to save face. And I'm just going to say thank you for watching and have a nice day like you do so kindly and I guess anybody else that's watching this rate comment subscribe um, like this video don't like it dislike it um, do whatever you have to do until tomorrow happy painting